Hello students, welcome you all to a new video of Sunanda's tutorial. Today we will discuss about the lichen, the details about the lichen. Lichen is present in your unit 1 of paper 1 of botany of PSC PGT syllabus to 2024. So we will study accordingly. Uh, lichens, what is lichen? Lichens are small group of plants with composite nature. Composite nature means they have two components. One is algal component or phycobiont. One is fungal component or mycobiont. And they both live in symbiotic association. It is very very important. They both live in symbiotic association. Generally, fungal partner occupies the major portion of the thallus and produces its own reproductive structure. So, in reproduction or sexual reproduction mainly, only the fungal partner takes part. Then, the algal partner manufacture the food as they have chlorophyll pigment. Uh, then, uh, which probably diffuse out and absorb by the fungal partner. So, fungal partner absorbs nutrition from the algal part partner as algal partner prepares food then characteristic of lichens lichens are group of plant with composite thalloid nature formed by association of algae and fungi algal partner produce food or carbohydrate by photosynthesis which is utilized by both algae and fungi and fungal partner serves the function of absorption of food and retention of water they retain water based on the morphological structure thalli are of three types one is crustose lichen one is foliose lichen one is fruticose lichen what is crustose lichen it is crossed like and closely associated with the substratum crustose lichen is crossed type and closely associated with the substratum then foliose lichen Folios lichen is more or less is a leaf like is a leaf like structure and fruticose lichen is a appear like a bush and attach with the substratum by forming a disc fruticose lichen is always attached the attached to the substratum by forming by the help of a disc then lichen reproduce by vegetative manner by uh, asexual manner or sexual manner only fungal component is involved in sexual reproduction ascospore produced in asco lichen and basidiospore uh, basidiospore is are, that is basidiospores are produced in basidio lichen asco lichen and basidio lichen there are two groups of lichen male sex organ is spermatogonium or spermogonium produce spermastia or spermacea female sex organ is carpogonium differentiated into a coiled ugonium or ascogonium and a elongated trichogyne it is the structure of carpogonium basidio spores produced by basidio lichen looks like bracket fungi and produced towards the lower side of fruiting body the growth of the lichen is very slow they can survive in very adverse condition with high temperature and dry condition habit and habitat there is about 4, 400 genera and 15,000 species of lichen widely, widely found in different regions of the world. Plant bodies thalloid generally grow on bark of tree, on leaves, on dead logs, bare rocks in their habitat. They grow luxuriantly in forest areas with tree or less pollution area with abundant moisture remember the term less pollution they grow in less polluted area because in highly polluted region they cannot grow some species of cladonia which is known as reindeer moss cladonia rangiferina is called reindeer moss grows in extremely cold condition of arctic tundra and antarctic region in india they grow abundantly in eastern himalayan region in eastern himalayan region they uh, the growth of lichen is very slow next the structure of thallus the plant body is thalloid with different shape external thallus based on the morphology general growth and nature of attachment three main types have been recognized 
which is crustose which is crossed like folios leaf like fruticose is boost like and attached with the substratum by the help of a disc later on based on the detailed structure hawksworth and hill in 1984 categorized the lichen into five main types one is leprous this is simplest type where fungal mycelium envelops either single or small cluster algal cell algal cell does not envelop all over by fungal hypi the lichen appear as powdery mass on the substratum called lepros for example lepraria incana lepraria incana is the example of lepros type of lichen then crustose lichen crustose lichen are the encrusting lichens where thallus is inconspicuous that means very small flat and appear as thin layer or crossed on the substratum it is crossed like generally found on the bark stone and rocks they are either wholly or partially embedded in the substratum for example graphics lecanaro le, le then ocrolecia then strigula then rhizocarpon then verucaria then lycidia these are the example of crustose lichen and folios lichen as i have already said that is it it is a leaf like structure present horizontally on the substratum attached to substratum by hyphal outgrowth the rhizin or root like structure develop from the lower surface for example parmelia physicia then peltigera so these are the example of folios lichen then fruticose lichen fruticose lichen is uh, where thalli are well developed cylindrical branched shrub like erect for example cladonia osnia letharia alectonia these are the example of fruticose lichen then filamentous in this type algal mem algal member of the lichen are filamentous well developed and alkal filament remained in situ or covered by only few fungal hypi the algal remain uh, member remains as dominant partner here the algal component lives as dominant partner and called filamentous type then the internal structure based on the distribution of algal member inside the thallus lichens are divided into homo isomerous and heteromerous homo isomerous and hetero isomerous in homo isomerous or homomerous the fungal and algal cells are more or less uniformly distributed throughout the thallus it is the structure of a homo isomerous lichen or vertical section of a homo isomerous or homomerous lichen where uh, fungal hypi and algal cells are uh, distributed uniformly the algal member generally belongs to cyanophyta blue green, blue green algae this type of orientation is found, found in crustose lichen which is crossed like like and very closely associated with the substratum both the partners intermingle and form thin outer protective layer present in lepto leptogium and collema then heteromerous here the thallus is differentiated in into four groups one is outer cortex then algal zone then medulla then lower cortex algal members are restricted in algal zone only and all other the part is occupied by the fungus this type of orientation is found in folios and fruticose like for example physia and parmelia the detailed structure of this heteromerous lichen upper cortex which is thick outermost protective covering com uh, compactly made up of compactly interwoven fungal hyphae then algal zone algae only constricted or restricted to this algal zone then medulla is situated below the algal zone and comprised of loosely interwoven thick fungal hyphae and with large space between them then lower cortex which is uh, present next to this medulla and this layer is composed of compactly arranged 
hyphae which may be arranged perpendicularly or parallelly to the surface of thallus. So it is the overall structure of heteromerous lichen. Then the lichen so hello lichen so hellotism according to some scientist the lichen so hellotism that is master slave relationship because algae is autotroph and they produce their own food and fungi have to depend on the algae for their nutrition so according to crombi scientist crombi they, uh, he said that it is a master slave relationship that is present in lichen because algae is heterotroph and produce their own food and fungi have to fungi as a heterotroph have to depend on algae for their nutrition so it is the master slave relationship then symbiotic association uh, according to some other scientist there are symbiotic association between this phycoband and mycoband and where phycoband may be a blue green algae green algae and uh, mycoband may be ascomycetes or basidiomycetes <coughs> based on the occurrence lichen may be saxicolus which is present in rock then corticolus which is present in bark of tree tericolus present in soil crustose lichen according to the structure it may be crustose crustose means crossed like and closely attached to the substratum folios leaf like ruticose looks like a tree or bush like structure then based on the fungal member it is of two types one is ascolichen one is basidio lichen based on the internal structure they may be homoisomerous uniformly distributed algal and fungal member heteromerous where algal members are restricted to a definite zone that is algal zone and all other parts are occupied by the fungal member then the reproduction vegetative reproduction by fragmentation soridia and isidia asexual by pygnidia formation sexual reproduction where the male sex organ called as spermatogonia and female sex organ carpogonia male sex organ produce spermacea or spermatia then carpogonia have a ascogonium that is coiled part and a trichogyne which is elongated part both of these fuse to form a diploid zygote from the zygote a fruiting body develops it develops ASCII followed by development of fruiting body which is apothecium inside the apothecium the fruiting body ASCII develop ASCII or ascospores develop this ascospore germinate again to form uh, the fruit no, the main thallus by attaching with a suitable algal partner then specialized structure of thallus a breathing pore is present sometimes uh, a small opening is present for gaseous exchange then the next one is cyphely cyphely present in lower cortex of some lichen folios lichen uh, known as cyphely both help in aeration they are generally help in aeration then cephalodium small gall like structure found in some lichen they occur in only lichen which contains cyanobacteria and green algal partner cephalodia can occur within the tissue of lichen or on the upper or lower surface lichens with cephalodia can fix nitrogen so this cephalodium helps in nitrogen fixation then reproduction uh, this uh, lichen can produce by vegetative asexual or sexual means vegetative reproduction occur by fragmentation where it takes place by accidental injury of the thallus and the thallus may be broken into fragments and each fragment or each part is capable of growing normally into a thallus then by death and decay of older part the older region of basal part of the thallus dies causing separation of some lobes or branch and each one grows normally into new thallus then by soridium what is soridium it is a small grayish white bird like outgrowth develop on the upper cortex of the thallus they composed of one or few algal cell loosely enveloped by fungal hyphae they detach from the thallus by rain wind 
then uh, they did first they detach by rain or wind and then upon germination produce new thalli when soredia develop in an organized matter in a special pustule like region they are called soralia present in parmelia and physicia then isidia they can also reproduce vegetatively by producing isidia it is a grayish black coral like outgrowth present in the upper surface of the thallus the isidium has outer cortical layer continuous with upper cortex of mother thallus which encloses some algal and fungal component as the mother they are of various shape may be coral like as in peltigera rod like in parmelia cigar like osnia in osnia scale like in collema generally constricted at the base and detach easily from parent thallus under on favorable condition isidium germinant and gives rise to new thallus in addition to asexual reproduction isidia also takes part in increasing photosynthetic area of the thallus then asexual reproduction which occur by forming pycnidiospore some lichen develop pycni pycniospore or spermaceum inside flask shaped pycnidium usually behave as gamete but in certain condition they germinate and develop fungal hyphae this fungal hyphae when in contact with appropriate algal partner develop into new lichen thallus because because we can't or a lichen cannot be produced without a algal partner so it have to attach the fungal partner have to attach with the algal partner then sexual reproduction only fungal partner takes place part in sexual reproduction and form fruiting body the nature of sexual reproduction in asco lichen is that of asco mycotina and basidio lichen that of basidio mycotina asco in asco lichen the sex organ is carpogonium and male sex male sex organ is spermatogonium spermatogonium mostly develop close to carpogonium which is the female sex organ female sex organ or carpogonium is multicellular and differentiated into ascogonium coiled ascogonium and a elongated trichogyny ascogonium remains embedded in algal zone but trichogyny projects out beyond upper cortex then spermatogonium spermatogonia is flask shaped structure embedded in upper surface of the thallus they open outside by small pore called ostiole the fertile hyphae in the cavity of spermogonium abstract minute rounded cells at the tip these male cells are called spermacea in some species of lichen however pycnidia like structure also function as spermogonia spermogonia or spermatogonia both are same then carpogonium carpogonium consists of two parts one coiled structure this is the ascogonium and a elongated part which is trichogyny the ascogonium lies deep in the medullary portion while while the trichogyny emerges out of the thallus and receive spermacea this part receives spermacea and then spermacea fuses with the the ascogonium to form the zygote fertilization on being disseminated the spermacea have been found striking to the protruding tip of trichogyny this is only evidence that spermacea function as male gamete after fertilization trichogyny withers ascogonium produces freely branched ascogenous hyphae this hyphae produce asci at their end all the structure after fertilization developing asci ascogenous hyphae ascogonium are surrounded by sterile hyphae this result in the formation of a fruiting body which is apothecium or perithecium apothecium and perithecium both apothecium and perithecium are fruiting bodies of the lichen which is developed after the fertilization so when male gamete spermacea uh, fuse with the female gamete or then trichogyny withers or destroy or disappear then the ascogonium produces freely branched ascogenous hyphae 
then the hyphae produce ASCII at their end and all this structure is surrounded by sterile hyphae and all this structure togetherly called as a fruiting body it is either apothecia type or perithecia type so it is all about your lichen how the thallus of the lichen looks like and how they reproduce what about their algan and fungal partner so it is all about lichen i hope you really enjoyed this session so stay tuned and enjoy my videos like this i will upload more videos on uh, according to your opsc pgt syllabus ssb lectureship syllabus or ssb tgt syllabus so stay tuned and enjoy my videos thank you